Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer, and I'm still trying to grasp all the huge Ubuntu news that's been going on lately. With all the uncertainty in the Ubuntu world and GNOME becoming the default desktop in Ubuntu, I thought it might be high time for some answers. So I took it upon myself to do something I have never done before and will in all likelihood never do again. I decided to do a benchmark. So here are the dirty and boring details. These benchmarks were run on my scrappy little steam machine running Ubuntu 16.10. Here are the specs. First up we have Goat Simulator. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Deus Ex Mankind Divided. This game is barely playable on my steam machine, but I figured it might make for an interesting benchmark. Here we see that running the game in Unity has a slight edge over GNOME. And just as an aside, it's the GNOME desktop environment. It's not a gnome you find in your garden. But I'm not the word police. Pronounce it whichever way makes you feel superior to everybody else. Anyway, according to the results, the game runs on average 1.3 frames per second faster on Unity. Shadow of Mordor. The in-game benchmark seems to run a mite bit smoother in GNOME than under Unity. Comparing the minimum and maximum frame rate, we see much lower dips in the frame rate under Unity. GNOME has a slight advantage with Shadow of Mordor, with the average frame per second being exactly one frame faster. Meh. Dirt Rally. This was the first benchmark I ran in Unity, and I didn't realize I had turned off the high contrast FPS counter, so I'm sorry about that. The most dramatic difference between desktop environments was Dirt Rally, with a whopping 2.37 average frames per second difference in GNOME's favor. Tomb Raider. A subjective look lends neither desktop an edge whatsoever, except that this flag seems to be glitched out on GNOME. This time we see that playing Tomb Raider under GNOME loses us an average of 1.5 frames per second. To summarize, a one or three frame difference in the average is misleading. It's too close to call, it could have easily gone the other way. The only way to know for sure is to rerun these benchmarks several times and I find this kind of boring so I'm not going to do that. I think the important thing here is a subjective look at the game's performance. I feel like the GNOME footage is slightly smoother and that perception seems to be backed up by the min or max frame rate numbers. But I'm not an expert. What do you think? Did I leave out a crucial component? Leave me a comment and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or become a patron over on Patreon. I'm the Linux Gamer and as always, thank you so much for watching.